Dun -dun 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 Batman, Batman, bringing people to justice. I'm not sure if you've seen, I know I look horrible, I'm actually feeling very much under the weather, but I'm sitting outside trying to warm up actually because I have the chills, um, battling something, I don't know what it is, but my wife was sick and now I think she gave it to me. I don't know if you've seen the article floating around Facebook, but uh, Dr. Oz in some hot water, surprise, surprise. I've been telling you guys time and time again not to listen to anything he says and a lot of these talking media heads um, that they're snake oil salesmen they will pitch every miracle pill and powder to you into the world and they don't care how irresponsible it is um, he was pulled in front of Congress or the Senate and uh, basically torn a new one saying that he knows what he's talking about doesn't necessarily work and yet he does it anyway and uh, his excuse or claim was, I have to give, I have to do what I have to do to make sure that people are interested and uh, watch the show and I have to give them hope was, <laughs> was his excuse basically. I have to give people hope. I don't know how many more times that you people need to hear that your nutrition and being physically active as of right now is the only cure to losing weight. If you want the body type that you want to have, it requires effort and it requires work. Okay? Whenever you start hearing green tea extra, or the green coffee extracts, raspberry ketones, and all these other magical things, just shed the fat, just shed the pounds away while you're laying on your ass doing nothing, that right there should tell you it's a lie. Okay? There is no lazy way to get the body you want. If you want fat off your body, you have to exercise and your nutrition needs to be in line. Some people will struggle more than others, but nonetheless, that's what needs to be done. Sorry to break it to you. I'm sorry there's no other way around it, but that's this is typical of society. We all want that instant gratification and we want to be told that we can drink some magical elixir that is going to shed the fat away. Um, I didn't get to the way I look. I don't, I don't look this way or get on stage looking the way that I do because I take some sort of magical potion, okay? Um, even if you take steroids, which I don't, but if you do, you still have to put the work in to get the muscles to grow. You don't just inject yourself with steroids and become a muscle man overnight either. Um, I know some of you have that perception. Um, it doesn't matter what whey protein shake I drink or what BCAAs I take or... Um, what pre-workout there is out there. None of those are going to give you the muscle and the physique that you want. As Mark says, and he has a t-shirt uh, that proves it says, nothing works unless you do. It takes work, it takes time, and it takes putting in the proper foundation to build a house. So if you want your body to look a certain way, your nutrition has to be in line, you have to have a plan of attack, you have to train, and that's the only thing that's ever going to work. So, how's it feel, Dr. Oz, when you know, I used to love on Facebook when people say, oh, well, you're not a doctor, what do you know? Well, guess who's right, mother... Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm not a doctor, I don't have a PhD. Well, guess what, I still know the crap that he pushes doesn't work. Um, anybody with a brain could have figured that out, but you want to be sold a magical powder and pill. Um, listen, I may not be a doctor, but... At least I have common sense to know that's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't need a PhD to tell you that there's no powder that's going to get you the physique you want or that's going to melt fat off you. It's just the truth. Sorry you don't like it, but um, that's all i got to say about it. So uh, take that, all you Dr. Oz fans.